Hey everybody, my name is Dowden, and in this two minute tutorial, we're going to be looking at something called a noise gate. Noise gates are something that you can use on field recordings or your vocal recordings, your, your YouTube videos recordings, and you can use it on your mixes to clean up some messy tail ends of your instruments or reverbs and delays and certain parts of your, your track. Noise gates are also actually called downwards expansion. So if you want to sound super intelligent like me, instead of saying noise gates, say downwards expansion. The first thing you have to understand with downwards expansion or using a gate is that when you have recordings, field recordings, or live recordings, instruments, etc., even just running your instruments through gear, you can get this background noise. So this is called the noise floor. This can come from things such as your computer fan, people talking in the background, cars driving by, or it can actually come directly from electrical signals and wiring inside of your unit and instruments. What we want to do is eliminate that because if we start to boost up the volume and compress our sounds, then we're going to also be compressing and boosting up the volume of that background noise. And this is when we want to be using a gate. I have this example here of just a part of my two minute tutorial. So what you can do is just grab a gate and drag and drop that right onto the audio. We have our gate and how it works is anything that is below the threshold, similar to a compressor, but different because anything that's below that threshold is going to be pulled down even further by the amount that you set your floor to. And what we're gonna do is bring this floor all the way to the top and we're gonna start to reduce that floor until we start to hear that the background noise is gonna be reduced or eliminated. Hey everybody, my name is... Hey everybody, my name is... Hey everybody, my name is... Now we have this yellow bar is showing us the gain reduction, but we don't wanna go too far as to reduce the vocals. And then you can also use your attack and release settings in case you are chopping up some of the vocal, in case you really need to squeeze that. The release and attack settings can kind of help you smooth into the reduction so it's not so obvious and choppy. So I'll bring that release up to about 40 milliseconds and the attack up to maybe 15, 20 milliseconds. Hey everybody, my name is... Hey everybody, my name is... A little bit more release. Hey everybody, my name is... A little bit less floor. Hey everybody, my name is... And then you have your threshold, we can bring that up and down as well to get more or less gain reduction. Hey everybody, my name is... And you can see that once we bring the threshold to low, we're not getting that gain reduction anymore because we're setting the threshold below what the actual volume of the background noise is above. So finding that sweet spot is pivotal because you don't want to be reducing anything else but what you want to clean up. Before... Hey everybody, my name is... And after... Hey everybody, my name is... You can hear a really big difference in the amount of background noise that you have without the gate downwards expansion compared to when you have the downwards expansion. On. This works really well on vocals. Maybe you hear a breath that you don't want to hear or you hear mouth movements and, and things that you don't want to hear in the background. So I definitely suggest getting familiar with downwards expansion and trying it in your mixes. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And if you like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up.